Starting with a new project in Studio 5000 Logic's Designer Software, I will begin the 856T IO-Link module configuration. The first thing I am doing is adding an armor block IO-Link master to the Ethernet network. I need to give it a name and enter its IP address on the Ethernet network. Now I'm going to download the file to the PLC. Now that the download has completed, I can inhibit the Armor Block IO Link Master's connection to the PLC by checking the Inhibit Module checkbox. This will allow me to automatically discover what is wired to the Armor Block IO Link Master once I go back offline. Offline, I select the device IO Link screen, click Change and then click Discover Devices. Then I browse to the Armor Block IO-Link Master on Ethernet. Once the 856T IO-Link module has been discovered, I can retrieve the necessary IODD file from the controller itself by clicking the Register IODD checkbox. This upload takes approximately two minutes in real time but it is much more convenient than having to download the file separately from PCDC and then registering it. Now I apply and download the configured file to the PLC. Next, I uncheck the inhibit module checkbox in order to continue with the configuration. After selecting the 856T IO-Link controller connected to channel zero, I get the tab screens that display all the real-time information that is available via IO-Link. Note that currently no modules are configured for the stack light. That configuration is the next step. The Armor Block IO-Link master can support up to 500 milliamps of current to the stack light. It is up to the user to verify that their assortment of modules doesn't exceed that amount. Up to seven modules are supported, but some modules like the multicolor module use up multiple module positions. This is seen in the observation tab where module four is listed three times. The modules in the stack light are controlled by one output tag per module in the PLC. For a light module, setting the output tag to one turns the light module on. To two, slow flashes the light module. And to three, fast flashes the light module. Setting the value back to zero turns each light module back off. This concludes the 856T IO-Link module configuration. For more information, please refer to the user manual.